Herzlich willkommen zum Welcome to our future Port Talk. Jens Meyer, thanks very much for taking the time. 2022 is in full swing now. How did it kick off those first 10 days? For you personally, how's it been? Well, yes, first off, Happy New Year. I'm healthy and happy that all my family and friends had a good start to the year too. And things are going really, really well for the company as well. And that is, of course, thanks to all of our colleagues. The trip to this wonderful television studio was something of a premiere for me. I got the chance to drive you through Hamburg in a very special vehicle, a hydrogen-powered car. We talked about it briefly a moment ago, but I'd like to know what role hydrogen is going to play in the port of Hamburg in 2022 and beyond. Well, I think it's going to play an increasingly important role. Sustainability, alternative fuels. I think our Toyota Mirai is evidence that this technology makes sense. You're driving a car and, what do you know, it's just like a normal car. But what's also on the agenda is transforming the port of Hamburg to use hydrogen and also to import it via the port for industry and to power trucks and ships. Also on the agenda, where can we source it? How can we use it? It's going to play a major role in our future master plan. And in this context, you always make a habit of expanding your horizons a little. You've been to the United States where you and the other people there did some information gathering. What was the result? Well, the question with hydrogen is always how to transport it. In Houston, Texas, we visited an ammonia storage facility at Four Park Motor. Hydrogen can be stored as ammonia in liquid form. And so, of course, it was interesting to see what safety measures were in place. In the US, Homeland Security makes sure those safety measures are adhered to. The waterways are closed to private boats within one mile. There are also safety mechanisms for when a ship docks or is tanked up, that it's offloaded or loaded. What happens when a pipeline leaks? What I found impressive was the explosion-proof control room in Operation 24-7. It means that in the event of a disaster, firefighting facilities, pumps and the like can be controlled from a secure place and means this technology, which is new to many people, of course, can be operated safely. I think we can build on that experience here in Hamburg and pass the knowledge on as well once we've implemented the technology here in Hamburg. We're seeing some pictures in the background on the subject of shore-based power. Shore-based power will be an issue in the port of Hamburg in 2022 as well. To what extent is that, in combination with things like hydrogen that we've just mentioned, an important issue? I'd argue that the port of Hamburg has been something of a trailblazer when it comes to sustainable technology. In the public sphere, there's a lot of focus on who is pushing this technology. But actually, we ourselves have repeatedly discussed this with many other ports, but just writing papers is one thing. We want to be quicker, and that's why we're very pleased that the Hamburg Senate has given us so much support, in particular the business department, so that we can continue to expand our shore-based power facilities. We're plowing ahead here, and we want to start the test phase for container ships in 2023, as you can see in the background. The cruise ship terminal in Steinwerder is also going to be connected to shore-based power. So we're aiming to start testing in 2023 already, a lot earlier than other ports. And in 2025, if everything goes well, we should be doing it in Hafen City. The new cruise terminal being built in the Übersee Quartier will also be equipped with a shore-based power supply. And as I said, we want to do things, not just talk about things. I think that's one of the strengths, that the Port of Hamburg is able to demonstrate again and again around the world.